It's Operation Crimson Stone Week here at Corvus Belly, and we have some epic boxes to give away. Drop your comments using the hashtag Operation Crimson Stone on YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook for your chance to win a copy of this new Infinity Code 1 Battle Pack. Good luck, and keep connected. Hello and welcome, this is Carlos Bostre from Corpus Belli Studios and behind the camera is Konik, uh, Warcar Admiral, making this video for you and we are right in the middle of the Crimson Stone Week okay, a cold one thing week with a new battle pack with Nomads against Ariadna and this is the concept design video okay, here we're going to witness how the beautiful concept design was beautifully translated into 3D skulls and see all the artistic process this is usually a very interesting video for artists so let's get into it, let's check out the Nomad faction right now Okay, let's begin as we always do with the light inventory, okay, the backbone of the Nomad Nation here, playable now in Code 1. We're talking about the Corregidor Alguaciles, okay. This is the concept design, male Alguaciles and female Alguaciles, that you can see. The color scheme was uh, has a little improvement on the previous versions of the, here, the Infinity concept design, because for this moment we really wanted to bring Corregidor up, okay, in the, in the game level, so we put a little more decals and details and little freehands on, on, the, on the miniatures, also apart from the customization on the weaponry, okay. Here we can see that Corregidor Aguaciles are uh, light infantry soldiers, no helmet at all, they have a lot of personality, so uh, putting a helmet on those faces will totally erase their personality, so a, a tough a uh, super conscious decision was always to allowing them to have very crazy haircuts and stuff, a lot of, 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 of personality in those characters, okay? You will end up having a lot of aguacils on the table, so usually caring about little details on the light infantry is, uh, has a lot of meaning on the table. So this is how they were beautifully sculpted into 3D, and you can see a lot of personality in those skulls. As usually, we, we always demand having at least one of the light infantry uh, poses, uh, being the guy shooting, because it's, it's a very useful resource for explaining rules, and usually code one boxes are for explaining the basics to, to newcomers. So these are the three alguaciles from Corregidor, okay? One of the sectorials of Nomads, which is something that you new code of one players don't really have to get into really <laughs> right now. Move on. The Sombras, okay, this is a new profile, okay, or, or at least when, when M4 arrived, it was a new profile, okay, we're talking about a, a camo skirmisher, okay, for the Nomad Nation here, you can see that they are designed in, in, a, in a little way to, to be able to operate in 0G, the, the, the whole theme about the Nomads, and especially Corregidor, is to, to operate in you know, crumbling space stations or something like that, okay? More like uh, to be surrounded by sci-fi, high-techno environments than earthly uh, kind of war in the math or something like that. No, 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 nomads are usually uh, in this kind of texture, like the one that I have here on the table. Okay, the uh, sombras, uh, this, uh, you can see that the male concept artwork was later the, translated into a female figure, okay, in that crouching position, okay, with lots of elements and has the multi-rifle attached to her back, okay. This is a new Nomad troop wearing red, obviously, because we're playing with the Nomads here. So it's the red faction. Moving on, we have here a classic, absolutely classic, from the beginning of Infinity, really, which is the Intruder, okay? Has had always many different versions, but usually staging like the basic medium infantry for the Nomads, wearing a little more armor than the Aguasiles, okay? Uh, has been around forever, has been always having... A, a, a faceless helmet, almost with just a few holes for, for the eyes, but nothing, okay, no expression there. Uh, during all these years, the intruders have had many lovely miniatures, okay, we are very happy with this new one, carrying the HMG, the heavy machine gun, which is one of the most important weapons in the options of, of the intruders. You will later see that the, the sniper version is a classic of Infinity, also very, very important. 
The intruders usually have multispectral bias or level 2, so that's why uh, they always have to have a little dot on the eye, okay, because they can see through smoke, they can see thermocaptical camo and, and mimetism, that, that kind of stuff. So, classical, absolutely a must for every nomad player, okay. Put your doctor or your pal, uh, your ghost remote uh, doctor next to him, because this is the usual figure that dominates the table from a top position, from a high position. So, it's a classic infinity figure, and we are so happy with the final result in the 3D render here. Moving on, also classic figures here, we're talking about the Hellcats, okay, the usual classic paratroopers for the Nomads, okay, which are not as good as the Tiger Soldiers, not as bad as the Basi Basuks for a certain way, because there's a wide spectrum of paratroopers here. So now with the Hellcats, we have these paratroopers that can operate in 0G, okay, which is the, the leitmotif for, for the Nomads, usually with this sectoral army. A pretty decent uh, medium infantry that can perform combat jump, which is the, 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 the skill that usually allows them to arrive right in the heart of the table. Any infinity player will tell you about having a lovely experience with a Hellcat at, at least once, okay? Because the paratroopers is kind of a, like a lottery, okay? You try them and sometimes they kill half of the enemy army, sometimes they don't do anything else, you know? But it's a lovely troop. We have here a male concept design with the dossier, okay? But for this box, we want to have a lovely, incredible female um, Hellcat with a boarding shotgun, okay? And instead of a tactical rock, this time we decided to put a computer, okay? Uh, almost a, a full console right there, okay? Just for not having a tactical rock, yeah, just for you guys, just for you, okay? Paratrooper with a big winged backpack, okay? Usually in concept design, sometimes you have to draw the back without the backpack because these kind of winged big things uh, totally block, uh, obscure the lots of details on the design. So it's kind of the way we do things here. Hellcats have usually always had their black helmet, okay? Back in the day, they painted with a shiny chrome on it. It was it was a different like a, like not matte like with a shiny effect on the helmet. We're pretty proud of these uh, paratroopers. Classic Infinity figures once again. Evader, okay, a figure with climbing plus, okay. Uh, one of the most, uh, they have a lot of artwork for the Evader, okay, everybody celebrated a lot this kind of new design. Uh, once again, it's a new troop that kind of arrived with M4 design for operating in 0G, okay, uh, no gravity conditions, okay, has this kind of medium infantry, but lots of, uh, lot of solid parts on it. Okay, has a asymmetric helmet, which is a pain to, to describe for the sculptor one, one because in the concept part sometimes it's, you can see just one side. Those kind of issues usually bring a lot of extra work from the sculpting phase. When the concept part is not crystal clear and it's not symmetric, there's usually always a blind spot that the art director has to jump in to help the sculptor translate it into that. Finally, we have an incredible, I think it's the most spectacular figure from the Nomads in this box. Okay, lovely figure here for the evaders, for not the Nomads, okay. Now, when you put together all these seven figures, you have all the seven figures from Operation Green Stone. Three more figures and you will have the uh, whole combat group. Yeah.